Hola, everybody. This is Joe Duplantier from the band Gojira, and you're listening to 89FM The Radio Rock. E aí, galera, tudo bem? Eu sou o Henry, e hoje troquei uma ideia com o Joe Duplantier, ele que é vocal do Gojira, e o Gojira é a atração confirmada do primeiro dia de Rock in Rio 2022. Vale lembrar que 89 é a rádio oficial do Rock in Rio. Então fica aí e confere a entrevista. E aí, ansioso para voltar para o Rock in Rio? Já vai ser a segunda vez de vocês aqui no festival, né? So we are very excited to come back to Rock in Rio. It wasn't originally uh, planned this way, but then I believe there was a cancellation or something that made some, you know, an empty slot and we were called to save the day. So we're coming. E sente falta de alguma coisa do Brasil? Sei lá, tipo a comida, futebol, não sei. I, I mean, um, Brazil is, is, is another planet almost uh, uh, compared to, you know, what I'm used to. Um, but I have some Brazilian friends and I, I did many trips to Brazil since our first time uh, there at Rock and Rio. And I, uh, uh, I gotta say, uh, it became personal between me and Brazil. There's something that I really, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm watching the politics, I'm watching what's going on with the environmental uh, problems and the, the, indigen the indigenous and, and, um, mm -hmm. and nature and uh, uh, something that obviously are uh, hurting um, uh, environment, you know? <laughs> And I see that this explosion of energy that I feel coming from people, um, the beauty of nature and, and, mm -hmm. and the culture, it's, it's absolutely fascinating. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up uh, with um, an American mom and a grandma that lived in Portugal. So I, mm -hmm. I traveled quite a bit when I was a kid and, and we would go to Portugal very often. Um, mm -hmm. So I like I like I like Portuguese as yes. well, and spe mm -hmm. especially Brazilian Portuguese. I find is very, it's a beautiful language. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of things I'm looking forward to experience. Uh, but you know, our trips are very short. We come and play and go. Uh, so often it's it's a bit frustrating because we I'd like to to hang out a little more in Brazil. But we'll come back after that. E Joe. Numa entrevista você mencionou que Go o Gojira foi muito influenciado pelo Sepultura. E esse Rock in Rio, como que vocês se sentem tocando no mesmo dia que eles? É um sentimento mais especial? Yes, that it's um, um, it's inc it's I cannot believe we're playing after them. Because you know, the kid in me that was heavily influenced by Sepultura, by the way, I'm going to add that our first show ever Gojira was at the time Godzilla just the name was different but it was the same people and uh, except the bass player we had a different bass player for the first year um and our first show was in a small town <clears throat> next to where we grew up and uh we played maybe five sepultura songs you know so it was basically sepultura covers uh from Arise, from um, Beneath the Remains and from uh, uh, Chaos AD. E além de Sepultura, você escuta outra banda brasileira? Um, not really, not really. Uh, also, I don't listen to music the way I was in when I was uh, 16, 17. Now I'm, you know, I'm a, a busy person, uh, play metal all the time and I'm, I have a family and, you know, so I, I'm not digging as much as I was back in, the, back in the day also. Você acabou de falar um pouco sobre a cultura do Brasil e tal, e no seu último álbum, Fortitude, é, você, você escreveu uma música chamada Amazônia, que tem uma letra, assim, muito impactante. Qual que, como que surgiu a ideia de escrever a música Amazônia? A ideia was uh, we we saw on the news that uh, the Amazon was on fire. At least it looked this way. Um, I, there were some scary numbers, uh, something like the 80,000 fires were on at the same time or something. Um, we were absolutely uh, terrified to hear about that. And uh, although I don't live in Brazil, I'm not Brazilian. Some people would say you have nothing to say about the Amazon because you're not Brazilian, but I, I don't think it's true. I think uh, we live on one very small planet. We're a bunch of us and we have one last ancient forest standing and that's the Amazon forest. There's other ancient forests, but they're tiny. 
They're they're very little, and they're in you know in some countries. But the Amazon is is some people say the lungs of the earth, but this is an exaggeration, of course, because the oceans are, are mostly um, uh, the main provider of oxygen. But that is hurting too. The oceans are hurting. Um, that's why I went vegan, by the way, because I don't want to participate in fishing and um, and uh, animal exploitation. The Amazon, uh, the number one problem apparently uh, in the Amazon is uh, the cattle uh, raising in the farm industry and uh, monoculture is also killing diversity in animals. Uh, monoculture being mostly to feed the cattle and then there's the gold. So there's several problems apparently in the Amazon and I don't want to pretend like I know better, but I've done some research and I, I, I was on site um, uh, for 10 days, I, I, I went there and I met the indigenous people that are extremely worried and under a lot of pressure and under attack um, by uh, farmers that are, you know, feel empowered by Bolsonaro's agenda. So I see that, I hear about that, and I, I hear that all these fires are related with the political situation in Brazil. And believe me, I hate talking shit about anybody any politician even i don't want to become political i want to i want to remain a musician and have fun and play music and you know and and share but sometimes when you see something you have to say something so with that song it it the song amazonia uh, you know sort of forced me or uh, uh to get more information about the subject and to get involved. And it became sort of personal for me since then, because I met the people that are in the middle of this crisis. Falando da produção da música, quais instrumentos que vocês usaram? Algum instrumento indígena? Porque é, essa música é muito diferente de tudo que eu já ouvi. I think you, you could do, you could create any sound with any instrument, really. You, 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 could, you could create weird sounds with a guitar. We are playing with whatever we have in our hands. I'm not, um, I wasn't born in the, in the Amazon forest. I don't, I don't own any indigenous uh, instruments from, you know, Brazil and or other countries that are in the Amazon. But you know what I used? I used an old tele, a Telecaster guitar with a weird sound and a weird small, small amp and a, and a weird microphone. So a series of weirdness, you know, to create this bear now, 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 now. And I added on top a, a, a jaw harp or called also a Jew harp. It's this thing that you go between your teeth. It's mostly like an Australian instrument, but it is actually an indigenous instrument, but not from this area of the world, but it doesn't matter. It's music, we're telling a story, we want to create a vibe. And um, I think we succeeded on, on catching people's attention with that sound. And uh, a lot of people even made fun of it because it was such a simple riff and it's just a sound. But uh, we wanted to create this sort of haunting, sort of uh, uh, menacing even, this sound could doesn't need to be a traditional indigenous sound. It's Gojira playing. We're from France. We're based in the United States mostly, and we're singing about the Amazon in Brazil. So it's 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 all mixed, and it doesn't matter. And if anything, this sound could represent flames. The flames are not indigenous. Flame is is a manifest is is a reaction. It's a physical reaction that is very destructive for forests. But, um, <clears throat> so, a Jew harp, I would say, and a guitar. Mesmo eu sendo brasileiro, uh, eu nunca fui pra Amazônia. E logo que eu escutei pela primeira vez essa música, pareceu de fato que eu tava lá. Vocês, quando estavam produzindo essa canção, vocês já tinham essa intenção de criar essa ambientação? That's amazing, dude. That's, that's so great that you say that. You know, because that was the idea. We wanted a... To, 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 to paint a picture of something with our feelings and with the idea of the trees burning. It's the most horrible image we can imagine, like an entire forest that is the last, you know, ancient forest on earth in flames. It's, it's terrifying and it's haunting, you know? Um, and we wanted to create that in the sound, really. So it was, it's a matter of, you know, becoming the idea that you want to uh, uh, present and uh, and creating this haunting sort of uh, sound and feeling. So I'm, I'm really glad it worked with you.
Os fãs brasileiros ficaram muito animados quando o Godira foi confirmado no Rock in Rio desse ano. Você, será que você pode dar algum spoiler do que vai rolar na set list desse show? Of course, we are going to play Amazonia. Yes, it has a, an important. It's it's at an important spot on the set list, and um, we are going to play Amazonia, and we're going to try to do a little thing during the song, uh, special, at least a message or something that's going to be um, going to the crowd. E por fim, você quer mandar alguma mensagem para os fãs brasileiros? <coughs> Nothing original, but um, I would like to express my love and gratitude for all the people that are supporting us for all these years. And I also want to apologize um, for not being able to come more often to Brazil and, and you know, South America in general. Um, we're trying to fix that, you know? And we decided that uh, after Rock in Rio, it would be time to come back to Rio um, for a proper show, a Gojira show, not not being part of a festival, but have like an, an ex, you know, a longer set list and uh, some special things and, and more time to do a sound check and everything. So I think um, uh, we've been away from Brazil for too long and we want to come back, not only Rock in Rio, but after that too. Thank you. 89 na Rádio Rock.